Hey everyone! Welcome to another craft hoarding video. I recently got a new keychain that I am absolutely in love with right here. This one, it's based on one of the bath tokens from Spirited Away. I freaking love this thing. And as if I don't have enough crap on my keychain already, I decided that I wanted to make something that kind of went with this bath token. I think that the little faux fur poofs that people have for their keychains are really cute and I kind of wanted one and I thought it would be really cute to make one that looks like a soot sprite. So that's what I'm going to be attempting to make today out of random materials that I have in my studio. So let's go see what I can find. As usual, we're going to be going through my jewelry drawer for this. So I need big lobster clasps. I have these tiny ones, but I need big ones. Oh, like this. These ones are perfect. And then ideally I can find um, big jump rings. Mm. So I have these jump rings, but they're gold. I'd rather have them silver because the lobster clasps I grabbed are silver. So we'll keep looking. So here are some in like a darker color. That might actually be better. So I might use these. And then for my fabric, I have this stuff right here. Um, the fur isn't as long as I would have wanted it to be, but it's the only black fur I have. My friend actually gave it to me. Thanks, Becca. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna use. I think it should be okay. I gathered some black faux fur, polyfill, large lobster clasps, jump rings, black embroidery thread, and two white buttons. And for a little extra thing, I also got some polymer clay, paint, chain, and head pins. First, I traced the rim of a bowl onto the back of the faux fur. The size you choose will determine how big the puff ends up. This bowl was about six inches in diameter, and the puff ended up being about the size of a racquetball. And if you don't know how big a racquetball is, that's a little bit smaller than a tennis ball. Then I cut it out. I thread some embroidery thread onto a needle, and then I went around the edge with a fairly chunky straight stitch, about one fourth to half an inch in from the edge. Once I made my way back to the starting point, I pulled the ends to start bringing the edges together. Once it was in sort of a cup shape like so, I stuck in some polyfill. I put about a handful, I believe. Then I continued pulling the embroidery thread, and once it was totally closed up, I secured it with a knot. And I actually wasn't satisfied with how tight I made this. Um, there was still about like a pea-sized hole. So I went through and added a few stitches going from one side to the other, pulling it tight to get it to close all the way. And then I stuck the needle through the top and out the middle of the poof and attached one of the buttons in this spot. Then I added the other button right next to it and threaded the thread back up to the top of the poof. The other end of the thread was still sticking out of the top, so I threaded that through the needle as well and then I threaded on a big lobster clasp and tied that down to the top of the poof. Then I stuck the needle through the top and out of the bottom of the poof and cut the extra thread off. To finish this guy off, I drew pupils on the eyeballs. Initially I used a marker, but that didn't work so great, so I went back and used some black nail polish. At first I was going to stop there, but when I was done, I thought that the sprite needed a little bit more, so I decided to make some of those little candies that the soot sprites eat. The easiest thing to use was polymer clay. I have this white clay that I tried to color initially with some alcohol-based markers. I took a chunk of clay and flattened it out, dabbed on the color, let it dry a bit, 
and then folded it over a bunch to mix the color in. This worked out all right. I ended up with some pretty pastel-ish versions of the colors that I wanted, and if I kept doing this process, I probably could have gotten the more saturated colors I wanted, but I felt like it was gonna take too long, so I figured that I could just paint them after I baked them. But anyway, I shaped these chunks of clay into the candies. I couldn't get the shape totally right, but I did the best that I could. I stuck a head pin through them in the middle and then baked them according to the instructions. Like I mentioned before, since I wasn't happy with the color, when they were cooled off I painted them, and then when they were dry, I dipped them into clear Sculpey glaze. I tapped off as much as I could and then I brushed off the excess and let them dry. Once dry, I twisted the ends into loops. and then cut off the extra wire. And then I stuck all three of these onto a big jump ring, threaded a chain onto that, and then attached the chain onto the lobster clasp on top of the poof. I kind of just eyeballed how long I wanted the chain to be. And once that was done, the poof keychain was complete. And then all I had to do was attach it onto my keys. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please leave a like, and if you want to see more, then feel free to subscribe. I love how this turned out. I think it's super cute, and it goes with my other Spirited Away themed uh, keychain, and it makes my keys like 10 times more ridiculously big. If you like this video, then please leave a like, and if you want to see more, then feel free to subscribe. I post art videos every Tuesday and DIY videos every Thursday. You can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, Pinterest, Snapchat, and Twitch, and I'll leave the information to those down below. Thank you to my patrons for helping me produce this video. If you are interested in becoming a patron or just learning about what Patreon is, I'll leave a link to mine right up here and you can go check it out. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment down below, and I'll see you next week.